This week on The Personal Computer Show, you'll see a computerized magazine for children and play a colorful adventure game. You'll see why a TV weatherman replaced his weather maps with computer graphics from a personal computer. And meet Dr. Harry Garland, president of Chromemco Computer, as we discuss the many practical uses of computer graphics. And finally, discover how to draw using a personal computer as our guest host, Saul Bernstein, demonstrates a graphics tablet. All this and much more is next on The Personal Computer Show. The Personal Computer Show, your window on the latest developments in computers for home, business, and education. You've seen some very interesting and useful applications for computer graphics. Now we're going to take an even closer look at that same subject. And our guest expert today is Dr. Harry Garland, who's president of Chromemco Computers. I want to welcome you to the Personal Computer Show, Doctor. Well, thank you, John. May we start out by just telling our viewers a little bit about your background and how you became interested in computer graphics in the beginning. Sure. It turns out that uh, Chromemco was the first company to offer microcomputer graphics, and that was way back in 1976. Since then, we've developed a complete line of microcomputer products, and it turns out graphics is a very, very important option for those products. Yes. Well, now, as I mentioned earlier, we've seen so far how to draw pictures and weather maps with computer graphics, but I'd like for you, if you would, to say a word or two about what you see as the usefulness of computer graphics as a tool for communication. Well, I think that's a very interesting question. It turns out that if you look at what computers can do, it's really process and display information. Mm -hmm. And very often this numeric information, as we might see in a, a spreadsheet or an accounting application, or it's alphabetic information, say in a word processor or a database s system. But interestingly, computers can work uh, with equal ease with pictures. Mm -hmm. And if you realize that the human visual system is by far our, our highest bandwidth channel is really how we learn about our environment. Mm -hmm. It's clear that uh, computer graphics is a very, very important part of computer displays. Well, now you've brought along some slides, and maybe by taking a look at those and having you comment as we go along, the viewers could get a better idea of what you mean by uh, uh, getting knowledge through graphics. Good. These slides are designed to illustrate five different applications of computer graphics. The first slides we're looking at here illustrate the use of computer graphics for art production, as we saw earlier in the uh, show. And these are some other examples of that. Uh, there are even companies like uh, Via Video in, in Sunnyvale, California, which uses Kremco equipment specifically for uh, advertising agencies mm -hmm. and allowing them to have equipment that they can use to draft uh, ads and uh, brochures. Mm -hmm. The second uh, area is one of business graphics and this is one that's uh, very popular in personal computers and the use of bar charts and line charts and that type of thing to display business data is, is an important use. Certainly easier to absorb information than a page full of figures. Oh yes, exactly right. The third area, which we're illustrating here, is, is the use of computer graphics in scientific and engineering applications. Mm -hmm. Here we show uh, scientific data, which is being plotted. And the next slide shows that you can actually plot a three-dimensional surface using uh, computer graphics. Uh, one example where this is used is, is by a company called American Computers and Engineers in, in Los Angeles, which actually uses our equipment in the design of structures, buildings, and bridges, and can provide displays like this. Mm -hmm. The uh, fourth area is probably the single largest uh, usage area for computer graphics, and that's in the area of process control. This is a system that's actually at the MJB coffee factory used to monitor the process of making coffee. And here we see uh, a Chromemco display used to show the various stages as the coffee beans now, go through the factory. Is this display showing uh, in a graphic illustration what's actually going on out there on the assembly line? That's exactly right. So the one operator can look at one display and know exactly what's going on in the factory. And the final area is the area of imaging, uh, which is, I think, the, the most interesting area for me because I think it's the area we're going to see more and more of. Imaging actually involves uh, photographs or pictures which are stored and processed by the computer. This is an example of a satellite picture, for example. Is this example. the same thing we see when the weatherman comes out and tells us, here's our satellite photo? That's exactly right. In fact, this picture here is a, is a picture that actually appears on weather stations mm -hmm. and uh, equipment which is supplied by a company called Color Graphics Systems in Madison, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. actually uses Kremco computers to supply that kind of information on nightly weather broadcasts. I see. Well, uh, one other area I'd like for you to go into, if you wouldn't mind, would be what you see in the future. Uh, for uses of computer graphics. 
Well, I think the future is very interesting and it's exciting because graphics are used in a large number of commercial applications today. And as the cost continues to come down, we're going to see that these same applications are going to show up in personal computers and even home computers. So we, we can imagine, for example, people being able to dial up their own weather map on their TV set at any time of the day to see what the local weather is, national or even worldwide weather. I think we'll also see uses in security systems, for example. Mm -hmm. And we, we may even see complete catalogs with color pictures at our fingertips uh, at a personal computer, again brought to us through computer graphics. I see. A very interesting look at now and the future. And I thank you very much, Dr. Garland, for being on the Personal Computer Show and giving us that look. My pleasure to be here. And I want to urge you to stay with us because right after we come back, we're going to show you how you can win your very own personal computer absolutely free. So stay with us.